This is a tutorial about the roller intake we designed for our most recent robot and theater challenge designed to play the 2014 FRC game Aerial Assist. We started out by doing a 2D CAD layout to make sure the packaging was going to fit inside our robot and then we moved to 3D. This is a 75% design that you're seeing in front of you. As you can see the primary construction for this intake was Modulox channel. This was very nice to use because it allowed us to optimize our design as we were going through the process of building our robot. For rollers we used the 4 and 6 inch high grip wheels from Andy Mark. These seem to have a very good grip on the ball. We used the 4 inch wheels in the center and the 6 inch wheels on the outsides. We found that this allowed a taper towards the center of the mechanism pulling the ball into the robot. The wheels are locked into place via half inch hex shaft collars. This allowed some modularity in configuration as we went through our design. We also added a center strut of Modulox channel. This allowed some additional support over the long hex span. Initially we saw some high deflection in our shaft and this we feared would cause yielding over time or fatigue. This could have been even two or three additional supports between each wheel. We found that the one additional wheel seemed to give it enough strength, though we did not calculate the stress at the termination points to verify this assumption. So let's go ahead and look at the actuator driving our roller intake. We used a PG27 gear motor with the 775 motor attached to it. We ran 25 chain down to the intake roller via two flex hub sprockets on a one to one ratio. These sprockets are retained on their shafts by shaft collars and they are all mounted to the Modulox channel via their respective blocks. This was nice because it allowed us to move the entire assembly up and down as well as tighten the chain on the channel. Each roller is retained by a flex hub flange and the end of the shaft is captured by a Modulox through block and shaft collar. Here you can see as we adjust the shaft up and down in its channel, that is one great advantage of the modular design. It allows you to be flexible through your entire design and fabrication process. The only custom fabricated piece in this entire assembly that took anything more than cutting to length is this channel that spans the two Modulex channel sides. This is a custom fabricated piece that we designed to box in the two channel sides and provides great strength. Each end was TIG welded into place. We believe that this design could have also been easily achieved via angle and plate, box, or even off the shelf channel. The last two primary pieces of our design are our base pivots and our pneumatic pistons. The base pivots were constantly adjusted up and down as we integrated the intake into our robotic system. The adjustments on the pneumatic pistons location were also there. These were mounted via blank blocks and reinforced on each side by sim motor blocks. The pistons were held in place by a bolt and standoff configuration through a rod end assembly the exact assembly for how these pneumatic pistons are attached to our channel is not shown here however these are shown in some of our other videos and will be available via CAD at some point after this video is posted. So that completes our roller intake tutorial. If you like what you saw go ahead and subscribe to our channel now and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those below. Remember you can follow us on Twitter at Robot in 3 Days and there's more information on RobotIn3Days.com.